education major at TCU. Hello, my name is Rachel Brookover and I am a junior music education major at TCU. And today we're here to talk to you about choir. In an orchestra, we have different sections of instruments. You might have heard of violins, violas, cellos, and basses. In choir, we have different sections of singers who sing different things. We have sopranos, altos, tenors, and basses. Sopranos sing way up high. Woo! Can you try? And basses, basses sing way down low. Whoa. Can you try? How'd you do? I sing soprano. And I sing alto. Hello, I'm Noah and I'm a tenor. Hello, I'm Matthew and I sing bass. Rachel and I are in choir here at TCU and we have a concert coming up on March 7th. At this concert, we're going to be singing a song called Nacht der Herr verlanget mich. Let's take a listen to the beginning now. You can really hear all the sections of the choir. Try to listen for the basses, then the tenors, then the altos, and then the sopranos, and then everybody all together. about choir is that we get to sing in different languages. Do you speak a language besides English at your house? In our choir, we're going to sing in German and Russian on March 7th. For example, we're going to be singing a song called Oche Nash. It's in Russian. Let's take a listen to it now. <laughs> Pretty cool, right? But Kalina, if we're singing in something other than English, how will our audience know what we're saying? Wow, that's a great question, Rachel. Well, sometimes composers, people who write music, write their music so it sounds like what the text is saying. For example, in the German song that we're singing, we're going to say, dass ich meine Feinde nicht freuen über mich. What we're basically saying here is that we're rejoicing because our enemies won't be able to triumph over us. Let's listen to a recording of our choir sing that song and listen if you can hear how we sound triumphant. Wow, so even though we couldn't understand every single word, we could still understand the meaning of the song. Here we're using text painting, which is when the music Sounds like what the words are saying. Did you know that composers can use text painting in English too? Our teacher, Dr. Christopher Osbos, wrote his own song in English this year that our choir is going to sing for you. Let's take a listen to it now. Right here we're saying, the waters roar and are troubled, the nations rage. Let's listen to it now. See if you can hear some text painting. <laughs> and how we can sing in all of them. And we learned about text painting, which is when the music sounds like what the words mean. So when you tune into our concert on March 7th, be sure to listen for those three different things. Have a great day and, and go Frogs! Frogs.